Here's the kicker, Harrison Butker, ready to get this one started. And into a sea of red, we're underway in Kansas City. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They'll run here with Raheem Mostert. And he'll work this one up to about the 38. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. Second down and three. Tua sets up to pass it. A short throw there. That's to Smythe, the tight end. That one, a first down pickup of eight. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. Tua now on first down. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. I think that's how this defense is going to need to play these tight ends. Again, get right up on them and stay physical. And that paid off on that play, helping force that incompletion. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Up the middle they go with Mostert. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? They'll see about converting this third and eight. Here's Tongue of Iloa to throw. And the Chiefs are going to get him. The Mississippi State man, Chris Jones, with a sack there. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. So on fourth down, here's Jake Bailey to punt for the Dolphins. Waiting on it will be Richie James. And good hustle here as this is going to be blown dead right at the nine-yard line. Well, someone's going to be happy with that effort. And you know who else is going to be happy? His defense. Absolutely. <laughs> He's created a very long field for that offense to try to traverse. And he got some help from Mr. Football there. Check it up nicely. Good English on that punt. The KC offense set to go, led as always by the gunslinger, a former MVP in this league. It's Patrick Mahomes. So this is what we find out about the game plan and the trust factor, don't we? In this situation, the natural thing is take care of the ball. Run it inside. Everyone cover it. Just, you know, get yourself some room and let your punter punt it out of there. But when you really got a QB you can trust, you might want to take a little shot early and try to create some space. They'll go for a gain of seven, and it's second down. Mahomes going to throw. Well, this one complete. It's Rasheed Rice. And he almost gets this to the 30, taken down about a yard shy. Give him 13 yards there and a Kansas City first down. 
to win any route, you've got to break down the defender. And that's exactly what happened here on this really nicely executed curl route. Mahomes now on first down. And that one off the mark behind him, incomplete. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. Here's second and 10 now from the 29. Here's Mahomes to throw. Now he steps away, and he'll slide to a halt here, still a little shy of the first down marker. He'll end up getting five out of that, but now they're looking at third down. I certainly like what he did right there because he smartly wanted to avoid forcing anything downfield because nothing appeared to be open. Nice harmless slide there to avoid the big hit, and he gets a small gain on the play. From the gun on third down, Mahomes. Well, Mahomes can't get away, and down he goes. Bradley Chubb doing what he does best, getting that sack. It always helps for a visiting team to come in and set the tone on defense. In fact, when we talked with them prior to the game, they said they wanted this home crowd to feel like they had to hide their valuables when they were in town. <laughs> well, the home crowd quiet now early. See if their offense can take over and get some points on the board. On fourth down, Tommy Townsend to punt for Kansas City. Braxton Berrios deep for Miami. They'll call it a punt of 44 yards. The return was for seven, and it'll be Dolphin football. So Miami coming out for their second drive. The crowd maybe losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. Less than a minute to go here in a scoreless first quarter to this point. From midfield, here's Tua. A short throw there. That's to Smythe, the tight end. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 47. But despite the completion, they're going to wind up losing three there. Second down. Heck of a play there to get to him quickly and get him down for a loss. I think they did a really nice job getting ready for this game, scouting, watching film, and understanding defensively what the play design was. Going to the air. Tug of Iloa. Pass incomplete. Tight end has become a bigger and bigger part of the passing game in the NFL. But if you drop the football, that position can get swapped out with a you know, wide receiver in that spot, a running back in that spot. There are other ways they can go if you're not going to catch the ball. And that's not just his first drop, his second drop of the game. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Looking to pass to a Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. A big play there as they get the conversion on third and 13. We're scoreless after one. It's Dolphins football here as we begin the second quarter. As they've got it with a first and 10. Throwing now is Chug of Iloa. This one thrown underneath to HN. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. Add the gain here to the previous play, and it's better than 40 yards total. How about the way they're moving the ball down the field? They had a big play a moment ago, followed it up with another nice one here, and before you know it, they're already looking at first and goal.
Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Here's Tua. He's got it. Touchdown, Dolphins. Raheem Mostert, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Dolphins post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. Well, he wasn't the guy they were initially going for, but after going through the progressions, it worked. When you have plenty of people who can catch the football, you don't always have to go to your primary target, and sometimes that target is actually covered. Nice job coming off of that and getting it to someone who was open. And the man out of the backfield gets in for the score. Jason Sanders now for the extra point. And that makes it 7-0 Dolphins. A drive that time of six plays. And it ends with a touchdown for the Dolphins. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. They'll be looking to match that touchdown from a moment ago. 7-0 is the score as they begin with a first down. Nowhere to go that time. Might have gotten a yard up to the 25. Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle. But give him credit, he tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. From the 25, here's second and nine. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Well, that one caught by Rice. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. That goes for a Chiefs first down, 14 yards. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Mahomes now on first down. That'll be caught by Rice. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 13 yards as they've got the connection working. His second catch in a row, first down. Well, they obviously read man covers their partner, and he got downfield, broke down the defender, made him what think. What do you mean by that? Yeah, he made him think he was going to run a different route. Probably thought he was going to take it upfield. And then he curls back inside for the completion. Mahomes throw here complete to Kelsey. And he's corralled at the 40, but not before picking up eight. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made it a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Two yards to go, second down. They'll run out of the gun with Pacheco. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. Seven yards there and a first down. Not too many more ideal situations at second and two in order to try and pick up a first down. They ran it and picked it up. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. The slot man in motion right. On first down, they go back to Pacheco. And this carry not as productive. He swallowed up at the line of scrimmage. On the tackle there, Zach Sealer out of Ferris State. Nice job there defensively to clamp down because really, they've been on their heels this drive. Agreed, and they really needed that one for confidence, just to feel a little bit better. But I don't know if I would be daunted by them stopping me on one run. This drive has gone pretty well. I could come right back at them. And here's another tackle made at the line. So they're converging well on the football now. No 
gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. Here comes the eighth play of the drive, and they need a full 10 yards on third down. Mahomes now to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 15-yard line. Nice play for Kansas City, picking up the first 18 yards that time. Seems as if the passing attack's starting to heat up a little bit here in the second quarter. You can sense and you can see the momentum because now they're reading their patterns downfield, they're understanding the coverages, and they're finding the open holes in the defense. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. A throw left sideline falls incomplete. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far. Even backed up late, they're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep them out of the end zone as the first half winds down. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. The tight end, Kelsey, has it over the middle. And the Chiefs are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. This has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. And again, it's Mahomes. He's got it. Touchdown, Chiefs. Marquez Valdez-Scantling bringing in that one from Patrick Mahomes. And the Chiefs are an extra point away from drawing level. And down near the goal line here, they're able to throw it in. And the key word, quick. Quick hitter out of his hands fast, into the receiver's hands even faster. Extra point by Butker is on target. And that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. So that one a long 11-play drive. And it's capped off with a Kansas City touchdown. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And this will be a touchback. Berrios deciding not to bring it out. The Dolphins offense now working their way back onto the field. There was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score. In a heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Legereus Sneed. And they will take over at the 26-yard line. You can easily see the logic. It's a tie game. They just wanted to press it a little bit right before the half, hoping to get one more score. Now, easy to second-guess the result, but now you have to think after that interception, just a field goal, and they're behind at the break. Yeah, I think at the half, the head coach just says, look, that's on me. I wanted to press it, but it's because I believe in you guys. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. This second and four. Looking to throw is Mahomes to Valdez Scantling over the middle. 
Now another timeout called for by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Throwing now is Mahomes. That is caught inside the five. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that will bring up second down. have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. And that touchdown gives them a touchdown lead before they attempt the extra point. What a great way to end the half. Yeah, great job to put themselves in front and now see on the sideline, special teams defense scrambling saying we want to preserve this for the final moments of this second quarter. Extra point by Butker is on target and that makes the score 14 to 7. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. This fielded right at the goal line. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And with 10 seconds left, not really enough time to put something together. They run on first down as they're able to get this forward for about four. And this offense going to elect to burn a timeout with five seconds remaining in quarter number two. Tua, the final shot before half. He's going to float this over the middle, deep. And it's knocked away and incomplete. So we'll come upon halftime here in Arrowhead with the Chiefs on. There you have it. Halftime quickly over. Third quarter, here we go. Touchdown ball game, 14-7. Our scores, as we get back at it on EA Sports. And we see James, he will not return it, and they'll bring it out to the 25. The Chiefs ready to go on offense to begin quarter number three. And Charles, they've got the lead. Put your coaching hat on here now. What's the game plan for the second half? I think getting the running game going a little bit more because I thought in the first half, they didn't get it moving the way that they would like. They had success throwing it. But I think these first couple of drives, they'll want to get those running backs going and give them more opportunities. And I will guarantee you that those guys are lobbying for them in the locker room at halftime. Give them five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. That's a really good gain right there. They pick up five yards halfway to a first down. The only problem now in the huddle, Everyone's going to want to touch the football. Be a lot of chattering now because they've seen that they can move the line of scrimmage. He'll find Clyde Edwards-Alaire. 
Oh, what a juke into space. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That one good for 12 yards into Kansas City first. And when you have success throwing the football, the old cliche becomes true. The playbook opens up wide. And these screen passes, they become even more difficult to stop. First and ten, here's Pacheco. And they give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Nice chunk of yards on first down. It really opens up your options for what you want to do on second. You go right back to him and hope he explodes or sucker the defense in before throwing over the top. From the 46-yard line, a second down and six. Mahomes on the give to Edwards Alaire. And a gain of four gets him right to the midfield stripe. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. A couple extra tight ends in the formation here as they line up third and two. They'll try for the first with Pacheco. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. Just a gain of a couple, but good enough to keep the drive rolling. Third and two, right? So this is a situation where low man has got to win at the line of scrimmage. But it's not just the low man winning. It's the low man who's winning with some force. And they had that to pick up the first down. Barely picking it up, but they did. throw with Mahomes. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. And he's the epitome of what we call the move tight end. A guy that you can line up anywhere. In the slot, out wide, in tight. Doesn't really matter because he has such great skills. You want to utilize him in all aspects of your passing offense. And there he was in the slot for the catch. A good position to be in here. Second and inches. Headed straight, it's Pacheco. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. Only a gain of a yard, but that's all they needed. Well, this has been a long drive. In fact, it's eaten up a good chunk of the third quarter, which is precisely what you want when you're playing with the lead. You control the football, you control the clock, and impose your will on the defense. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. To throw, it's Mahomes. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. And the Dolphins are going to take over here at their own 22-yard line. That is just what this defense was hoping for, an interception on the opening possession of this third quarter. Obviously, didn't want to surrender a touchdown and fall even farther behind. And we've gotten to know this team a little bit, haven't we? Couldn't you just see their defensive leaders telling the offensive guys, telling the quarterback, don't worry, we got you to start things off. You take it from there. Tug of Iloa and the Dolphins come up first and 10 at their own 22. On play action, they'll throw. Eluding the pressure right. Give him a couple on the scramble. It's second down. Brandon, once that one broke down, there were only so many options left for him to take. Fortunately, only first down. So he smartly got the yardage he could get and didn't worry about trying to turn it into a bigger play and end up taking a bigger loss. Here, they hope they can regroup and get something different going here on second down. On second down, Moster. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. That is caught. And they work this well up 
field across the 45. An excellent pickup of 20 yards. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw. And they hooked up there for a first down. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and ten. Now Tua. A short throw there. That's to Smythe, the tight end. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. I don't care what sport you're playing. Everyone likes to build up a little momentum, don't they? And look at this. Back-to-back -back completions to the big target at tight end. That one not as profitable as the other, but still a decent game. Ball spotted at the 45. Here's second down and two. Now Tua just going to bat this forward on the end around. Powering his way forward. Yeah, he will go out right near the 35-yard line. The Miami first down. That one going for a gain of 11. Boy, an effective play there, getting their wideouts involved in the run game. And what they're always hoping on that type of a play, that they can get to the end of the line and have a chance to turn it upfield as he did there. That means they controlled the blocking and took care of the defensive end or the outside linebacker to give him that lane. And I guess I need to clarify, I said getting their wideouts involved in the run game, but of course that was actually a pass as he popped it forward. We're back now in KC. It's Dolphin football, but they trail here as we get set for the fourth. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and ten. Up the middle, A-Chan. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. Now second and eight at the 32-yard line. Two are going to throw. Over the middle and complete to Waddle. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 22-yard line. A nice pickup there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. This defense has certainly had an outstanding second half, haven't they? I know they just gave up a first down there and for the offense. They're hoping that that's something that they can jumpstart with and maybe start to move the ball a little bit better. But it's been tough sledding for them here the entire second half. On first and ten, it's Mostert. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That's George Karloftis greeting him behind the line with a big stop. There's no question that coming into this game, this defense is pretty vocal about his desire to take this running back out of his game. And all that pregame whooping has turned into results. of three a rare stumble on a promising drive here's second and 13. two are going to tap this forward on the jet sweep and he's going to take this down to about the 17. and a lot of times these plays they either go for nothing or they go for big yardage and here they got to the outside turned it upfield and ended up getting a nice little gain out of it The offense on third down tonight, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. This will be third and six. A run with Mostert up the middle. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. I definitely like the play call. You don't expect it on third and five, third and six, do you? You expect a pass play. Had a little courage there to call the run, and boy, they were successful. A looming decision to make on the conversion down seven, but first things first, they need to score as they come up on first and goal. Throw out wide is incomplete. 
off of this defense knows. Fourth quarter, they need to make a play. That one was ripe for the taking. Could have changed the complexion of the ball game, but it winds up incomplete. They'll try again here from the seven on second and goal. On the handoff, this is Moster. And he will take it in for a Dolphins touchdown. Raheem Moster, his second touchdown of the night. And the Dolphins are an extra point away from tying this game here in the fourth. And we are set up for a fantastic finish now. A fourth quarter touchdown here. We're an extra point away from a tie football game. And I know they're thinking about possibly going for two, but I'd go ahead and kick this one and just get it back to level. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. And the Chiefs now getting set to go. They no longer have the lead after that last touchdown. All tied up in the fourth quarter. And a chance for this offense to mount a potential game-winning drive right here. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 26. Now they'll bring Tony in motion left. Now here's a fake on the jet sweep as they'll go instead with Pacheco. And it's been like this all night long. Nowhere to run as they stop him behind the line. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. A shotgun snap and a give to Edwards Alaire. They'll get four on second down, but it leaves them with third and still nine to go. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offense coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. Well, this defense... Needing a stop here. Got to have it. Third and nine. Now here's Mahomes. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong. And now it's fourth down. That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let them get anything started. And that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty. And before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. On is the punter Townsend as he gets this one away. And here comes Berrios. It'll be a 10-yard return following a punt of 45. And we have reached the two-minute warning. Dolphins offense returning to the field. Excellent job by their defense to force the punt and provide them with this opportunity all tied in the fourth quarter. Here's first down. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. A short throw there. That's to Smythe, the tight end. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. So the Dolphins have it as we welcome you back in. They've got a second down now as they search for a score to break this tie. Here's a second and seven. Throwing to a... Oh, look at this! It's intercepted! 
Picked off by Justin Reed. And they'll start out with great field position at the 47-yard line in enemy territory. Mahomes. That'll be caught. It's Tony. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. First and 10, it's Edwards Alaire with it. And he'll keep it moving down to the 15-yard line. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Pacheco gets it up the gut. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. A big play in this football game. Third down and one. Here's Pacheco once again. Well, they hit him in the backfield, and he will not escape. And that is not going to get it done. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. This for the lead in the final stages. Butker's kick here is good. And with a little over a minute to play, they have taken the lead. So he waited on the sideline for his first chance in the ball game, and it didn't come until the fourth quarter, but he connects there, a big one to give him the lead. Boy, you talk about coming in cold. I don't care how many times you kick it into a net. You're not really ready when you go out there and all that beef is coming at you trying to block the kick. Big spot, and he delivers. After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. And this will be a touchback. Barrios deciding not to bring it out. So Tua and the Dolphins down 17-14. 70 seconds remaining. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. He's got to complete to Waddle, and he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. All that practice time came to fruition on that play, all those timing routes that they work on through training camp, OTAs, mini camp, and just regular season. They got it done on that one. An out cut, ball was delivered, and picked up the completion. Here's Tua. That'll be caught by Hill. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. Oh, and how important could that play be in determining a winner here? That moves the ball all the way to the other side of the field, and now you're one completion away from at least getting into field goal range to tie things up. But with the time remaining, they've still got a shot to win this as well. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And that is incomplete. Ooh, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle so they're ready if a tackle happens inbounds. Another try, second and ten now. Tua, they hand it off to Mostert. And he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. An incompletion, now a short pickup. That's not going to do it. Yeah, you've got to get to the line of scrimmage quickly, get set up, and aim downfield. Right, 
The Arrowhead crowd in full roar. Here's third down. Now Tua. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. With no timeouts left, that's a dangerous proposition working in the middle of the field. Fortunately for them, that one fell incomplete. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. This to potentially send us to overtime. And this kick is not gonna get there. It's short and no good. And instead of tying it up, they'll remain down by three. Uh, we so often think of these kickers as automatic at any distance, and it's just not the case because when you start talking about 50-plus yards, it's still a tough one to connect on. This one ends up no good, and that should put to rest any chance of this game getting to overtime. Are we all seemingly more...